When the weather starts to turn a little bit chilly, you can't beat a warming bowl of soup. And when I think of the colours of autumn, pumpkin and squash come straight to mind. So I'm going to roast some squash with some sweet garlic and a little bit of chilli and then I'm going to blend that into a silky smooth soup flavoured with rosemary and butter beans. Now I want to get loads of flavour into this squash so I'm just going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper over the top and then some olive oil. Now cayenne pepper is quite fierce but it works really really well with the sweetness of the squash and then some sherry vinegar. So it's almost like you're dressing the squash before it goes in the oven. Now, just give that a bit of a shimmy and a shake, and then some garlic. So there you go, straight over the top. And then they need to roast for about 25 minutes, give them a bit of a shake halfway through. Now it's really important to use a heavy base pan for doing soup, because what you really want is something that's going to hold that heat really well without burning. Anything too thin is going to end up with burnt vegetables. And now, for the second leek, I want to keep a section of the end of the white. And I'll come back to that later because that's going to make a nice garnish. And then some celery. This one needs to sweat down really gently just to take on a nice bit of sweetness, get really, really soft, and make a lovely base for the soup. And next up, some chilli. Seeds in, seeds out, you decide. So the butter beans are going to do a couple of things. They're going to add some nice body to the soup and help to thicken it. But also when you blend it, it just makes everything go really silky smooth. So just about three sprigs of rosemary. Now if you give them a bit of a rub, what you do is start to release all the oils, which is where the flavour is. So a bit of a rub and a twist, and then in. And they go in whole, because I'm going to take them out again later. So just sweat them down for a couple of minutes and then go in with the squash. So just fish out the garlic and then tip the squash straight in. Now one of my favourite things in the world, roast garlic. See what's happened there, it's just got really lovely and pliable and soft. And then when you squeeze it out, you've got this beautiful flesh in there. You just need to add some chicken stock. Just to top that up, just a little bit of water. Now you want to bring that up to simmer and cook it for about 10 minutes. Now while that's happening, I'm going to show you a couple of really lovely little garnishes. I've got the seeds which I've kept back from the squash. So just take a baking tray, tip some of these seeds on, and then a little bit of olive oil. And just for some sweetness, a little bit of maple syrup. It's going to help these go caramelised nice and sticky. Give me a little bit of a mix around, and then they just go into the oven just to cook until they're crisp. I've got the leek, so remember I saved that from earlier. Now just cut it in half, and you want to really finely shred this. Good glug of olive oil in. So once that oil's hot, just scoop those leeks and add them straight in. Just starting to turn the lovely golden brown. So take them straight out of the pan and then drain them on some paper. So once your seeds are ready, just take them out and look, that maple syrup has really done its job. Turn them lovely golden caramelised. So just set those to the side and then just take out those rosemary stalks and then just add for a little bit of acidity a squeeze of lemon juice and a little bit of creme fraiche and again creme fraiche rather than cream because it's going to give it that zing which you really need to counteract the sweetness of the squash and that garlic and then just blend it. Right I think that should just about do it. So my roast squash, rosemary and butter bean soup is now ready to serve. Just finish off with a dollop of creme fraiche, those lovely crispy seeds and those great fried leeks.